it's been rough. Everything has just been rough. But we all experience some form of stress or sadness at multiple points in our lives and for the most part, we're able to bounce back or ride the wave courageously for as long as it takes the storm to pass. Sometimes, however, we might need a little extra help to do so. Hi everyone, my name is Anna Mascara and I help students and young professionals like yourself achieve their academic and career goals without sacrificing their mental health. Today we are looking at five signs that you might need therapy. Just to clarify, there are definitely more than five, but I don't want you to get caught up in the number or the details. I want you to focus on the two core elements that are commonly shared by all of these signs, change and persistence. Now, keeping that in mind, let's begin. Anhedonia. Anhedonia is a psychiatric term that means the inability to feel pleasure. In short, you no longer enjoy the activities you typically did. People with psychological or emotional problems often feel disconnected from life. As a result, they lose interest in the things they usually love to do, like socializing, playing video games, etc. Now, by all means, we can all experience these feelings at some point in our lives, like I said before. However, if you notice that anhedonia persists for a long period, period of time, I don't know, two to three weeks, I'd say, and it interrupts, keyword interrupts your daily functioning, as in you can't even fake it to make it, you might even get in trouble at work, or your behavior causes conflicts in your relationships, it's time to seek help. If introspection is not your strong point, I would encourage you to try using the free daily mood log in the description box below to help you spot the emerging pattern in your emotions. And hey, you can also bring it to therapy because your psychologist or counselor will be really, really glad that you did. Apathy. Apathy refers to a lack of interest or a pervasive indifference that wraps you up like a warm blanket. It's the I don't have any Fs to give attitude that gets way out of hand. A decrease in performance at work or school is a common sign among those struggling with psychological or emotional issues. Mental health issues can impair attention, concentration, memory, energy, and can result in an apathy which just like sucks the enjoyment from work or even the drive to work. It can result in a lack of interest and errors at work. Moving on, changes in sleep and or appetite. Mental health issues can have a serious impact on your sleep patterns and weight fluctuations. And I've lived this firsthand a few weeks before my burnout, you know, the one that ended me up in the emergency room, I started a pattern of waking up in the middle of the night like clockwork. I also lost a lot of weight, which made me feel tired and drained all the time. So if you're noticing changes in your behavior, do you suddenly sleep too much, too little, barely eat or overeat? It's time to hit the pause button and assess what's really going on. Trauma. This one might sound pretty straightforward, but you'd be surprised how long people take to ask for help following a traumatic event. That's due to a number of things, but experiencing trauma can leave someone paralyzed, afraid to take action, guilty, confused, scared, isolated. That PTSD hits and it hits hard. If you notice that an event or a person triggers painful flashbacks, you get anxious when you're thinking about a situation you were in, you feel your heartbeat go gaga for cocoa puffs when you are around that place, you know, where it took place. These are all signs that you need to seek professional help. And you know what? This just doesn't apply to recent events. Maybe something triggered a traumatic memory from your childhood that you've been ignoring for most of your adult life. <laughs> Guilty. Just because it happened a long time ago doesn't make it less worthy of your attention right now. Self-soothing. If you notice a heightened need to self-soothe or escape your thoughts slash reality, then you should definitely consider therapy. For example, if you used to be a social drinker, but now you need a glass of wine every day after school or work to relax, 
that's a red flag. If you used to take long bubble baths to chillax when things got too much at uni and now you feel the need to take them every day or sometimes twice a day, that's a red flag and oh my god, poor your skin. Now to answer your question, yes, there are more signs that indicate the need to seek help. And hey, if you want, I can even do a part two for this video, so just give it a thumbs up so I know. But bottom line, and to reiterate, the two things that all of these breadcrumbs have in common are change and persistence. More often than not, a change in behavior or mood that persists for a long period of time, a few weeks or even months, are an indication that something is off and you need to address it. Do not ignore these signs. Thank you for watching and thank you for making your mental health a priority. Scratch that. Top priority. Bye guys.